Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here, and today we're going to make five different kinds of musical rings. So what you're going to need for this project are flat pliers, cutters, round pliers, a ring cone, and 20 gauge wire it can be artistic uh, copper wire or brass wire or aluminum wire. And I have some four millimeter miracle beads. So for the first ring with the musical note, we're going to take about a eight to 10 inch piece of wire. It's the 1.2 millimeter, which is the equivalent of about 18 gauge. And you want to cut one end so it's really cut flat across there. You don't want it to be cut on an angle. And you're going to take your round pliers and just make a loop in the wire like that. So that'll be the first part of your musical note. And straighten it out a bit and then this I just do freehand and um, you could I guess print out a template if you wanted to but you just can practice by doing it freehand and you just want to form the shape of a note so now I went across the top and I'm gonna go and do the second circle for the other side of the musical note this would be an eighth note if you're a musician and so this one's going to be super simple. I'm just going to form the note and then place it on the ring cone. And I'll put a link below on where you can purchase these ring cones. And then what I want to do is actually put the wire underneath. Now I've cut it way too long. So you could have actually cut the wire a lot shorter. I'm going to push it down to be a little bit bigger. And then you just bend this back. Very simple. Get your cutters, cut that end, and then just with your flat pliers, bend it down so that there's no little sharp ends showing like that. Press it onto the cone to make it smooth, and there's ring number one. So ring number two is sim similar to number one, but it has beads. So you're gonna get your wire and put a four millimeter miracle bead on the wire. Now I use the miracle bead uh, partly because it's a beautiful bead but also because it's got a large hole in it. Some of the other smaller beads wouldn't work so well. So we'll bend it sort of on a right angle like that and then wrap this wire over top like that. We just want to surround the bead with wire and then to the back and we're just going to put it to the back and then you want to clip it so this end can be pushed in and uh, just really kind of flush in there so it doesn't stick out and be scratchy. So then you could give it an extra little pinch with the flat pliers. And now we're going to form the other side of the note. So just like in the first ring, we're going to bend it across the top and down like that. And then just bend this wire to the front at a right angle like that and then put on our other bead on there and then same as before we're going to wind it around to the front and then to the back flip the flip the note over and put it to the back okay and this will be the notes complete so with the wire going straight to the right and now we're going to place it on the ring cone around like that and exactly like in the first one we want it to slide in between the two little bead note parts there and then bend this back it's just in the top left corner there bend it back and then we're going to clip the end so there's enough to tuck down pinch it with the flat pliers and adjust it so it's not sharp squeeze it onto the cone so it's nice and rounded and there is ring number two. So for ring number three with the treble clef we're going to get the same 1.2 millimeter wire or you can use an 18 gauge wire and we're going to start about three inches from the end and just bend this up like that do a little round loop at the bottom and with our larger round pliers if you don't have large round pliers you can use the end of a pen and then I'm going to take the smaller round pliers to do the top little loop and then go back to the larger round pliers and do 
the sort of the central round part of the treble clef. You can adjust it around a little bit. Okay, so it's going to look somewhat uh, off centered, but we're just going to adjust that and then push it, center it over the middle line of the treble clef. You'll have to excuse my voice. I have a bit of a cold, <laughs> so thank you for your patience. If my voice gets a little scratchy, we're just going to cut that. Also doesn't help. I was out late last night at a YouTube Montreal event and I was talking a lot and talking quite loudly. We went out after and I was talking quite loudly, so I'm losing my voice. So there's the treble clef. And now we're going to make a little circle for the end of the treble clef like that. So that's nicely formed. And then we're going to put it on the ring cone and bring it around like that. Slide it under the treble clef. Okay, and then adjust it to about the size that you want. And then we want to bend this wire, the ring wire, at a bit of a right angle. Trim it to about an eight to a quarter inch, like that. And then we're going to just very carefully, it's a little bit tricky, sort of slide it under in the middle of the uh, treble clef there. And then with the help of the round pliers, we're just going to loop it back a little bit like that. And then you can use the flat pliers to pinch it into place. And then put it on the ring cone, adjust it again. This is where all the finishing touches happen. And there you have your treble clef ring. So ring number four is a treble clef with a little bead. So we're going to get some 18 gauge wire and I'm actually using a copper red colored wire here. And I'm going to do exactly like in the fourth ring. We're just gonna bend this up and start forming the treble clef. Just doing it freehand like that. The wire's a little thick. You could even go with a 20 gauge if you find it easier to work with. It just means the ring band will be a little thinner. 18 gauge is a little more solid, but you could use either. The artistic copper wire is quite solid. And uh, so then we're gonna keep forming the treble clef as we did in the first one. And then just bend that little end there and clip it off. The trick is always to find a way to uh, hide the little ends and to make them very discreet. And that's why you kind of pinch them in so they're not too scratchy. So scratchy like my voice, ha ha ha. Sorry for the cold guys. And then we're going to put the bead on there and we're going to wind the wire around to the front of the bead like that and then to the back. You could actually just go ahead and and do your ring form after that, but if you want to make it a little extra solid, you could just wind it around the bead kind of twice. I think either way would have worked. And then we'll get our ring cone and just like we did in the last one, just wind it around and then bend it a bit at a right angle. Slide it in the middle there of the treble clef, position it in place, and then bend that back, okay? And then trim this to about a quarter to an eighth of an inch. You don't want it too long or it's gonna be hard to bend it back. And then with the help of the round pliers, you just kind of twist it in there. You could squish it in with the flat pliers again, adjust it, and there you have ring number four. So ring number five is the treble clef with the note. And for that one, I'm going to use 20 gauge brass wire. And so for this one, what we're going to do is actually start the treble clef a little closer to the end. So we're just going to just leave about an inch, if even, you don't even need to leave that much. 
and we're going to start forming our treble clap. I'm using a slightly thinner wire so we could actually fit the note and the treble clef in otherwise it would be a little bulky if we used a thicker wire so we're just going to go ahead and make the treble clef like we did in the previous rings okay so we've got the beginning and then we wiggle this a little bit to get it flatter push it backwards and then instead of clipping this end off we're actually going to wind it around all the way around so we have our complete treble clef like that. This is actually how I make the treble clef earrings. And then we're going to start forming our note. Go ahead and form it like right near where the treble clef ends there. Okay, so we'll do our first little round up like that. I'm trying to keep it pretty tight so it won't be too wide across the finger. And then we're going to form the rest of the note like that okay and then make this round but send it towards the back like that so we have our treble clef with the note completed and then what I want to do is just do a little loop at the bottom of the treble clef like that and then just trim it so it's flush right there and then that way we can press it down so it's not scratchy and then now that we have the treble and the note done we're going to put it up on the ring cone form it so it goes a little bit sort of curved around the ring form and bring the wire all the way to the front and then like we did with the treble clef we want to bend this up a bit at an angle, okay? And then we're gonna trim this to about a quarter inch again. And then gently lift up the treble clef and stick this where the center, the center wire is. If you have to kind of open up, if you bent it too far, you can just open up this wire a little bit so it's easier to slide in there. Okay, so we have it just to the right of that center line of the treble clef. And then probably easiest to get your round pliers so you could bend it back and really like curve it back there. Okay, if you need to use the flat pliers to squish it in. I think I did a pretty good job of just getting it in there flush. And there we have our last ring with the treble clef and the note. Super cute. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more DIY wire art and jewelry videos. Hit that notification bell to be notified when I go live or when I make new videos. And be sure to join my Facebook group, the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club, to share photos of your creations and to be inspired by others. Thanks for watching.